Don't Worry Darling has plenty of publicity before it was released, from director Olivia Wilde's remarks about Shia LaBeouf to the Harry Styles Chris Pine Spitgate incident and various other dramas. But though all the pre-opening drama, the film's storyline stayed unknown. After the trailer premiered, audiences could see the premise was a step for wives like society where women had traditional roles in a sunny utopian society. One viewer saw the film. They saw this story expanded as Florence Pugh's Alice character began to realize that something isn't right in the placid community of victory. But as events progress, it becomes a little harder to tell what's really going on, and the ending has left more than a few filmgoers scratching their heads. So, how exactly did the film end? And what's up with that twist? Today, we'll be splitting every detail about Don't Worry Darling's ending. But before any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button first and smash that notification bell for more videos like this. Now, watch out for major spoilers and let's begin. Directed by Olivia Wilde, from the screenplay by Katie Silberman, Carrie Van Dyke, and Shane Van Dyke, Don't Worry Darling follows Alice Chambers, a 1950s housewife who lives in a wholesome and idyllic community with her husband Jack, who works for the Mysterious Victory Project, headed by Frank. The film has drawn a lot of publicity that has been mostly negative after reports alleged a strained working relationship between Wilde and Pew. Regardless, the reports don't seem to have affected what viewers see on screen as as the psychological thriller unfolds. Don't Worry Darling's ending ramps up the suspense as Alice, who has finally realized what Jack has done to her, involuntarily placing her inside a virtual reality that takes away the control she had over her own life slays her husband and attempts to escape the Victory Project simulation. Bunny helps her escape after revealing she's known all along that the world they were living in isn't real. In the midst of Alice's escape, Shelley stabs Frank, angry with what's happened and ready to take over. Alice finally makes it to the headquarters, with the simulated bots following after her and seemingly returns to the real world, free of Frank and the Victory Project at last. The film ends in an ambiguous way and, though Alice seemingly escapes, there is plenty to dissect in a psychological thriller where not everything is necessarily answered. Here is a guide to Don't Worry Darling's ending, including whether Alice returns to the real world and why Bunny tries to keep her friend inside the simulation despite knowing the truth. What trigger Alice's visions and why she keeps having them? Don't Worry Darling continues to show Alice's increasing vivid dreams throughout, which include Margaret trying to break through a glass, dancing women, and herself drowning. At first, Alice is satisfied to live her life, experiencing the same routine every day. Alice is unaware of Frank's training, as well as Jack's control over her perception of the outside world. Thus, it appears to be working. After a run-in with Margaret, who is the first to question what is happening and their seemingly ideal circumstances, Alice's visions begin to really take hold. Margaret is quickly disregarded by the other ladies, but Alice is more perceptive and inquisitive, which makes sense given that she is a doctor in reality. In addition to continuing, Alice's vision gets tougher to ignore. She might continue to have visions since the seed of uncertainty is sown at an early stage. Once that sets in, Alice finds it challenging to shake it and continue acting normally. Her mind is beginning to open up to the realization that what she is seeing is influencing her mental state and alerting her to the fact that she is being tricked, so she is not as quick to dismiss her feelings of disquiet. Why Bunny was dismissive of Alice's concerns when she knew the truth? In Don't Worry Darling, Bunny acknowledges that she knew the Victory Project wasn't real, which is one of the book's most intriguing disclosures. She was not forced to participate in the project like Alice was. Rather, she volunteered to do so. It's probably that Bunny made an effort to ally Alice's worries out of a desire to protect the life she had created for herself, which included two children to stand in for the ones she lost in the real world. After all, if Alice had known what was happening, she may have attempted to disprove the reality of the Victory Project's world, as Margaret did. That might have sparked a larger uprising, which would have destroyed Bunny's entire planet. Additionally, Bunny's deliberate portrayal of Alice as insane highlights the structural ways in which some women support the patriarchy. 
Like Chris Pines as Frank and Styles as Jack, Bunny gaslights Alice, although Bunny is Alice's buddy. She doesn't want Alice to go too far or upset the apple cart because doing so could upset the established order that favors Bunny. The same is true for Shelly, who will use force to put the other women in their place in order for her to continue to have some influence. It's a vicious cycle and teaches us that women can contribute to maintaining structural roles and inequities. Why Shelly stabbed Frank following Alice's escape? Throughout Don't Worry Darling, Shelly acts quite erratically. She appears to behave similarly to the other obedient wives, encouraging Frank in his endeavors while preferring to remain on the sidelines rather than going further. Her behavior initially gave the impression that she was equally entrapped with the other women. When Gemma Chan's character stabs Frank, the audience is shocked. She also tries to prevent Alice from raising concerns about the Victory Project and the neighborhood. So it seems abrupt. However, it's possible that Shelly grew sick of being Frank's sidekick. It's probable that she pretended to be the obedient wife while publicly granting Frank control so that no one would question her. However, Shelly might have been the Victory Project's true brainchild. On the other hand, she was probably fed up with the ways things were done and thought she could do a better job. By stabbing Frank, she effectively removes him from the scenario and assumes the role of the simulation's leader and most powerful player. By getting rid of Frank, Shelly will be free to pursue the Victory Project in any way she sees fit without having to answer to anyone or deal with her spouse as a hindrance. Does Alice actually escape the Victory Project? Don't worry, Darling's resolution could be compared to that of Christopher Nolan's inception in terms of ambiguity. Yes, Alice arrives at the headquarters of the simulation and puts her hands on the glass in the same manner as before, which is proved to have caused her to leave the Victory Project and return to the real world. Alice is never shown opening her eyes in the bed, so the audience is left to wonder if she genuinely escaped after the movie's conclusion. A brief scene shows Alice dancing in their house, carefree and joyful. She is by herself, which means Jack has indeed left. However, given that the brainwashing pictures continue to occur, it's also plausible that the concluding scene is just a remembrance of earlier, happier times. It's possible that Alice is trapped in limbo since the programming was so strong. Another way to look at it is that, despite being chained to her bed for who knows how long, Alice may have been able to leave the simulation but was unable to totally free herself. Herself. On a positive note, the conclusion of Don't Worry Darling implies that Alice did manage to get away and regain control over her thoughts, actions, and decisions. The way Alice's dancing suggested genuine enjoyment she couldn't experience in the simulation. What Don't Worry Darling's ending really means? Don't Worry Darling discusses gaslighting, body autonomy, patriarchal domination, and happiness. Even Alice is skeptical about Margaret's allegations. Alice's actions reveal how to battle for body control. She doesn't want Jack or anybody else to dictate her life choices. The Victory Project represents a patriarchal society that dictates what role women should play, with the characters slipping into a false idealized world where women stay at home and have no rights. Don't Worry Darling shows how women are caught in a world that doesn't support, believe, or want them to have power. Bunny and Shelly both benefit from systemic unfairness. Don't Worry Darling shows how various happiness perceptions can be harmful. For Jack, having Alice under his control and focusing on him was ideal. Alice's voice was silenced. Don't Worry Darling argues that women should be able to select their own happiness and life paths. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.